often forgotten and never enough credit. Roles and permissions are essential to running data flow jobs yet can cause issues when not set up properly. Today, we will walk through troubleshooting common permission errors observed during creation and execution of data flow jobs. In Google Cloud Data Flow, the permission errors occur if the user or group does not have the right identity and access management or IAM role and permissions configured and or the job pipeline is not using the correct service account. Before diving into troubleshooting permission errors with Cloud Data Flow jobs, let's look at service accounts and IAM roles and permissions required to run data flow jobs. To run the pipeline, Dataflow uses two service accounts to manage security and permissions. Dataflow service account is used by Dataflow service during Dataflow job creation and execution to check the project quota and to create worker instances on your behalf. It will be specific to your project. Worker service account is used by worker instances to access input and output resources after you submit your job. By default, workers use your project's Compute Engine default service account as the worker service account. Now, let's cover IAM rules for data flow. Roles are used to limit access for users within a project or organization and have better control on access to data flow related resources. Data flow admin is the minimum role required for creating and managing data flow jobs. In addition, it provides machine type and storage bucket configuration access. Data flow developer provides the permissions necessary to execute and manipulate data flow jobs. Data flow weaver provides read only access to all data flow related resources. Data flow worker provides the permissions necessary for a worker service account to execute work units for a data flow pipeline. And finally, Dataflow service agent is used exclusively by the Dataflow service account. It provides the service account access to managed resources in your Google Cloud project to run Dataflow jobs. Today, I will show you how to troubleshoot and resolve some common scenarios where Dataflow jobs fail with permission errors. Let's start with the first scenario. Dataflow job creation using Google Cloud CLI fails with this error. When you attempt to create the Dataflow job using Cloud Console, you will observe that the Create Job from Template button is disabled. As the error indicates, it typically occurs when the user or group is attempting to create the Dataflow job with only Weaver role or permissions. To resolve this issue, Add the Dataflow developer role to the principle using the Google Cloud CLI command shown here. Remember, if you are using Google Cloud CLI to create the Dataflow job, ensure all the parameters are correctly specified. Let me now walk you through how to add this role in Google Cloud Console. Go to the IAM and Admin IAM page. Select the currently authenticated user account as the principle. It does not have the Dataflow developer role, hence the job was failing. Let's add the Dataflow developer role to the principle. Now, let's go to Dataflow page. There you go. Create job from template is activated. Click on it. Woohoo! Dataflow job is created successfully. Here's one more scenario where Dataflow workflow fails with the following error during the verification of permissions for controller service account. To troubleshoot this issue, go to the Logs Explorer page. Use this filter by replacing the Dataflow job ID with your Dataflow job ID that is failing and search if there are any errors or warnings. You can see the same error here. Examining the error, closely indicates that it occurs due to lack of permissions for roles slash dataflow.worker in the controller service account or the compute engine service account which is used for executing the dataflow job. Note that these permissions are available in dataflow worker or editor role. This error will occur if both the dataflow worker and editor role are either deleted or missing in the default or custom compute engine service account being used. To resolve this issue, 
Add the data flow worker or editor role to the Compute Engine service account using the Google Cloud CLI command shown here. For more information about the data flow job prerequisite IAM permissions and service account, check out the following documentation. Thanks for watching.